Right then, so I've left that field over there where the cows, there's evidence of fresh cow pack but they've probably gone in to be milked. So I've come from over there, leaving the area of Outstanding Beauty now. Here's a little road that links up and I can hear water. And here we've got Water is here, a little oasis here. Water's coming from somewhere here, isn't it? I wouldn't be surprised if this, this goes through Longwood. This even could be the source up there where those sheep were where I've just walked across that field right there is like little gullies and that and it's a bit damp in areas I got a re I got I reckon I must look this up when I get home that this is the source of the river axe here I reckon this is the source of the river axe if not, it's a tributary that's joining to join the river axe. If it ain't the actual source, it's one that will join. It's, this this will end up going in Longwood, I reckon. This here. This will end up going in Longwood. In a minute. comes off the Mendip Hills. It's the other side of Cheddar, so I reckon this is the start of the River Axe. Further over there, not far away from where I've walked um, a minute ago, it comes out of the ground somewhere there, off the Mendip Hills. Just going to stop and take a photo of this a minute. Right, this is rejoining where I was a minute ago where I was talking about this being the source of the River Axe off the Mendip Hills. If not, a tributary that joins. God, it makes you want to get in and cool off. I've just taken some photographs of it as well and I'm going to investigate further. So I was going to do that and I keep forgetting. I was, that was one of my plans was to um, find out the exact source and I think this is it so when you when you go to Western Supermare and Uphill and you see the river axe going out to sea here we have it in the countryside folks this is the river axe I reckon it is and I reckon that passes through Longwood in a minute and from Longwood it goes somewhere else it does end up. I, it, uh, uh, that's my theory, anyhow. Right, this is a part of the walk we do then. As we head back nearer to Cheddar. More ferns, more insects. Not many people come this route, as you can see. Um, and it is much more overgrown in the summer. In fact this is, I was only here a couple of weeks ago, this is really overgrown now because it's not that well used or if it is it's just not been very much used just lately. There is like a waterworks down there as well so I can't think of any other stream anywhere at the moment. Unless that links up with um, Robera Warren, this water. Maybe it goes around in a circle. Anyway, as an idea, I'm going to investigate. Unless that's the stream that ends up in um, Robero. But it could be the source of the River Axe, or one of the sources. <sighs> if 
first time we've ever had any activity over there in that farm. And I say, if you come on a walk with me, because I like to study everything, it is what some people might call slow. I can actually walk fast if I want to. I deliberately go slow. You don't miss anything. Got a couple of little styles. Now be careful here, there's barbed wire there and you, some people have probably cut themselves not seeing that, thinking they can get under there. That's for the dogs. So it's a big bee there now that was going to got me bloody shorts then. I hope not. I don't think it did. Up a little hobbit lane. It's all hobbit country in it around here. It is, especially in Longwood. With all those gnarled, furry, ferny, mossy trees. Lichen-y trees. I want people, I'm doing all this video a bit more thorough because I want people to know what they got to entail. Not everyone does all these adventures, they go, they just keep to the main tracks. It's nearly time for me to have something to eat again. Now, this is what I call Longwood Field. Because it's near Longwood. Very, very, has been harvested. There's not a cow in sight. So I've come down, I've emerged from that hole down there, look. I've come from up down there. Longwood is over there. And there were cows here, look, old cow pack. I would say this, they've got to let this field recover again. And of course with the cows adding their manure, if you put a hundred cows out here, they're looking after the land. They're adding manure and then it'll grow back nicely again. Now over there on the hill, the area of outstanding beauty is now again in view. There's lots of different walks up there. Just starting to feel a bit peckish now. I'll have to have um, a bit of cake in a minute, I think. And an orange. In a minute, we'll see a style. That's Longwood there. And you'll get in over that corner somewhere. Yeah, when earlier in the late spring, I think it was, when the cows first come out, I was emerging from Longwood and had to wait a while because this was, they had a big set of cows in there. They were mooing. They'd just been let out. They were very frisky. I had to wait. I, I had a bit of a picnic while I waited for them to move across and go over that way. Once again, it's milking time. 
and um, there haven't been any cows in here though, it's very very, no fresh manure. Right, right in front of me there is a stile which we don't, we're not going to do today. I've been over that a few times the last couple of weeks. Because there's the way to go back down to uh, Black Rock and everything. You go across that field or you walk round it, whichever the farmer wants you to do, and head down that way. But today I'm heading for this corner. I'm going to go down through Longwood today. I've been out on there a couple of times. I've, I've walked across there. You can still see the old path, even though you're not supposed to walk across it. Everybody does. There's an old path there. As long as you don't ruin this crop, they don't really mind. But they, they tell you to walk around. But the, the the track is ingrained ingrained in that field. That's the thing. It's ingrained. There's my reference points. The two. Wireless aerials up, up up there, look. Like I said, you can join a path and walk right by them. <sighs> I've got like a bee following me. They don't like it. If you say there's a nest nearby, they send out their scouts. See, there's one buzzing around. When it's just one, it ain't too bad. They're just making sure you're not going to attack their nests. Now, like I said, you can walk across that field. Look where all the track is where people have walked for years. Even though he's got a sign on the gate. See that track? That's an old track. That's been there for a long time. We're now heading down to the corner of this field where there's a stile. Could be that in these trees there's a massive bee's nest. That's why I'm being followed by a couple of bees. They're just keeping an eye on what I'm up to. They're guards. The only thing you've got to worry is when the bloody queen leaves and you've got a hive after you. I've had a hive of bees go over, a swarm I should say, over my vehicle before now when I've, they sort of swooped up over the bonnet. I remember it really well. Right, well that's a very good walk. Let's just see what the time is, shall we? Before we leave this lovely area. It's 20 past 2. Very good. Very good indeed. We've got a good three and a half hours before we have to worry about the last bus. I'm just trying to think what day it is as well. I've got a feeling it's Monday today. Yes, it's Monday. We're going through Longwood for a change. I do like coming through here, it'd be cooler. Like I said, one day I emerged out of here, coming up here, and all the cows were around here, and there were loads and loads of them, and I had to wait, well not that long, because cows move pretty quick, but I just sat on that stile there and had my picnic. Had a drink, something to eat. See that there's, there's evidence of cow pack down there. Now, that's a very fresh cow pack as well. 
I always find it odd when you find you see one like that. It's very strange, isn't it? Right, we're now entering Longwood, everyone. I've got no idea what the video's doing. I'll just check that it's not all fuzzy. Seems to be okay. See, they don't make stars for short-legged people. Right, here we go down to Hobbit Land now. Magical, mystical Longwood. Full of potholes. Emerging stream. And in the spring, it is absolutely gorgeous. I did a video not long ago of the garlic and the wild bluebells here. It was absolutely beautiful. But it's beautiful and now it's summer. It's good to do it when there's no bluebells about, really. Just the ferns and a bit of cow parsley. I'm going to do a bit of an experiment now where I'm not going to talk for a little while. I'm going to be quiet as soon as I pass this tree here. Thank <laughs> you. 